Christians celebrate Christmas because the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ brought forth God's plan of redemption for mankind. Without Christ, there would be no salvation from sin. All of us are born into this world as sinners, but Christ was born without sin, and He lived a perfect and sinless life, so that He could die a sacrificial death for the sins of the world. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. This is the true meaning and heart of Christmas. The virgin birth is essential because it secures both the human and divine nature of Jesus, the Messiah, fully God and fully man, yet without sin, and thus he would become the perfect sacrifice for the sins of the world. I think of Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. We read, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Matthew 1 23 says the virgin will be with child and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us. Jesus was not just a good man but the eternal son of God. This promise of being with us is for believers who have accepted Christ as Savior. He comes and lives inside of us. Messianic prophecies can be found all throughout the Hebrew Scriptures. In Genesis 22, God promises Abraham that his seed would be a blessing to all nations. One of these blessings is found in Isaiah 11. A root of Jesse would be a banner of the people to whom the Gentiles would seek. In Genesis 49, 9 and 10, the Lord also says that the scepter of Israel would not depart from the tribe of Judah. Jesus was not only born from the lineage of Jesse, and the tribe of Judah, but he also brought salvation to all people. These messianic prophecies and many more reveal the miracle of Christ's coming and how it was foretold. The Hebrew prophet Micah foretold the location of Jesus' birth. In Micah 5, 2, he said, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel. The wise men in the east were studying the Hebrew scriptures and knew where the Messiah would be born. The star appearing in the east signaled to them that the time of the birth of the Messiah had come. Herod was not the true king of Israel. He was an Edomite that Rome had established as a puppet ruler in Jerusalem. Wise men had come from a far-off country to worship and bring gifts to Jesus, the rightful heir to the throne of David. Scripture says that when Herod heard this, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. Herod and his cronies wanted to eliminate any threat to his authority, and he was willing to kill innocent children to stay in power. The angels had great news. And this was not just great news for the shepherds they were speaking to, but for all the people. That night in a small town of Bethlehem, a savior had been born. Luke chapter two, verses 10 and 11. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. That will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. We give gifts in the celebration of the greatest gift of all, salvation. Ever since Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, humanity has lived under the curse of sin, as stated in Romans 5.12. And with that sin comes death, as we see in Romans 6.23. But God in His love sends Jesus into the world to be the ultimate sacrifice for the sins of the world, as written in John 3.16. This is why we give gifts at Christmas because Jesus was God's gift to mankind. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from FOIK!